Once upon a time, there was a cottage in the woods where three bears lived. There was a great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mummy bear, and a teeny weeny baby bear. <laughs> One morning, mummy bear made porridge for their breakfast. The porridge was too hot to eat. So they decided to go for a walk while the porridge was cooling off. A lovely girl named Goldilocks went for a walk into the woods. Even though her mother had warned her not to go for a walk alone because she could get lost. Goldilocks with her long blonde braids went for a long walk and soon came across the bear's cottage. Goldilocks had no idea who lived in this cottage. Goldilocks was tired after walking for so long, so she knocked on the cottage door to see if anyone was home. Goldilocks soon realized she was lost and she just needed to rest, and she needed a sip of water. No one was answering her knocks on the door. Then she realized the door was open. And when she looked into the cottage, she saw three chairs with three bowls of porridge in front of them. She was so hungry, <laughs> so she tried the big bowl of porridge. Ouch, she said. This porridge is too hot. And then she tried the medium-sized bowl of porridge. Ugh, this porch is too cold, said Goldilocks. Then she tried the teeny weeny bowl of porridge. Mmm, this porridge is just right. Goldilocks ate all the porridge in the teeny weeny bowl. She then looked around and saw three comfy chairs. First, she sat in the big chair. Oh, this chair is way too big said Goldilocks. Then she tried the medium-sized chair. Oh no, this chair is still way too big. Then she tried the teeny-weeny chair, and it broke. Goldilocks was getting so tired, so she decided to take a look upstairs wow. for somewhere to rest. She found a large bedroom wow. with three different size beds. First, she tried the big bed and said, Ouch! This bed is too hard. So, she tried the medium sized bed. Oh, this bed is way too soft, said Goldilocks. Then, she tried the teeny weeny bed. Ah, this bed is just right. Goldilocks found it so comfortable, she closed her eyes and fell asleep. Meanwhile, the three bears were returning from their walk. The bears were shocked to see all their porridge had been tasted, and Baby Bear's bowl was totally empty. Then they noticed oh. someone had been sitting in their chairs and Baby Bear's chair was broken. The three bears walked upstairs. Daddy Bear said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Mummy Bear said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Baby Bear said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? And they are still here. Just wow. then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, jumped out of bed, and ran down the stairs as fast as she could, and out the front door, and ran until she finally saw her house and her mother. Goldilocks promised her mother she would never go to the forest by herself again. Goldilocks told her mom how she had become lost and found a cottage that three bears lived in. She told her mom that she was scared by the bears and she ran away. She never wanted to feel scared by the bears again. 
And that was the last the three bears ever saw of Goldilocks. The end. <laughs>